In this screencast, we'll review how to make a citation from a web page. Here from your dashboard, you can start working on your citations by going to Works Cited in the lower left-hand corner or up here at the Bibliography link. Either of those will take you to the citations page. Uh, when you're using Google Tools, you want to use these links. You always want to avoid using the back arrow. So let's click on Bibliography to get started with our citations. And you, the first thing you always need to do is tell Noodle Tools what type of citation or you're making. Uh, there are different rules for, for all the different sources. Um, that's one of the great things about Noodle Tools. You don't have to learn all the specific rules. So we're going to choose a website and click Create Citation. Now Noodle Tools opens up a screen that tells you all the things you're going to need to generate your website. You need, of course, the date that the information was put on the web, the date of e-publication. The URL will help you and your teacher get back to that website. Uh, who wrote the information? Who is the author? That's important to know because you need to think about whether the information is reliable. Do they have any authority on this topic? The name of the specific web page. Think about a website like the Boston Globe's website. They have thousands of web pages. So you need the particular page or article title. Uh, the name of the website. And who publishes the site? Who puts it online? Who's responsible? It's important to think about that because, again, is this a credible website? Should you be relying on it and using it for your research? So let's go to a page that I've got and uh, we'll take a look at it. So this is a page from CNN. And we're just going to go through the order that the website asked for it. When was this uh, page published? And typically you find the publication date right under the title of the particular web page. So December 9th, 2014 is when it was published. So I'm going to remember that and uh, go back to my page and put that in. Love convenient drop down menu, December 9th, 2014. And I'm going to hop back to my page and copy that URL. Just Command C on my Mac to copy. Head back and paste it right in, Command V. Your computer may have different shortcuts, but uh, on a Mac it's Command C to copy and Command V to paste. Next, uh, Noodle Tools is asking me who's responsible for this article. So we're going to go back and we see the author's name right here underneath the title of the article. And I'm going to copy that. Now there is a box for first name and last name, so I'm going to paste it in once and then I'm going to move. Uh, I'm going to use Command X to cut the last name and paste it in the next box. You see the role is underlined. Noodle Tools is saying, what did this person do? Well, Katya was the author, Katya Header. So I've changed author, now my red underlining has gone away. Next thing I need is the page. Now, if you're ever wondering where to look for information, if you click in the box, uh, Noodle Tools gives you a little hint uh, about what it's looking for. So I'm going to come back here, and I've got the article or page title right here. I can copy that. And now that's critically important to know that you're on the right, uh, if anyone's looking at your website, that they're on the right page. Uh, now notice it's underlined and there's a yellow exclamation point. Clicking on the exclamation point tells me what's wrong. Why is Noodle Tools upset with me? And it's saying that the first, uh, the first letter of the words in the, the principal words in the title should be capitalized. So I'm going to quickly capitalize those. And once you've got it all sorted out, uh, that red underlining and that exclamation point should go away. Um, as it did. So if there is not a specific page title that you can find, you need to describe the page and click this untitled box. But there was a clear title on that page. Uh, next thing we need is the name of the website. And see when I click in the boxes, it says provide the name of the website, not the URL. So let's go back and find the name of the website and the publisher. So. Uh, I always suggest you look here at the banner on the page, the top of the page for the name of the website. Now, it says CNN Travel here. And now, I'm a savvy enough researcher to know that CNN Travel is just a part of the whole overall CNN website, right? See here they have all these little, mm, you want consider them tabs, and the travel one is highlighted. I'm going to click Home just to 
confirm what I think and see how the name of the website changes to CNN. So the overall website name here is CNN. Uh, and you might have different articles under these different tabs, but CNN is the name of the website. That's what we're looking for. Now, I have a clue that that's right because the URL is CNN.com, but Noodle Tools wants the name of the actual site, how they have it uh, in the banner. So I'm going to go back in and put CNN in. And I'm going to capitalize it just the way they did. Uh, and the last thing I need is the publisher of the site. Noodle Tools does give me a hint. They tell me to look at the very bottom of the page by the copyright information. So I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And I see copyright 2014. And here we go, Cable News Network. Okay. I'm going to copy that, Command C. And uh, I know that. CNN, Cable News Network, is a very reliable source of information. Um, but the idea of finding the publisher is to think about whose website is this? Is this someone who is uh, credible, someone who's an authority, somebody whose work uh, and, and page you should be using for your research? So that's why you go through all these steps. So you can think about whose information are you citing and using in your own research. So it's a pretty easy process. Um, once you're done, there's a submit button at the top or the bottom. And I can submit that uh, citation. I have a beautiful citation here now. Uh, and I have this great link. So I can go right back to that article whenever I want. OK, so I hope that answers your questions on how to cite a website. Uh, and good luck using Noodle Tools.